Hi, I'm Rebecca. In this video, I will explain how the Hydro Bath dog grooming bath works. This one is from Red Cape, but there are other places where you can get a Hydro Bath from. I've had this one about three and a half years. Now, how they work, basically, you've got two tanks. You've got a tank under there, 50 litres, and a smaller tank, about 25 litres here. You plug the bath in at the wall, and then you need an outside tap with a cold water fill and a hose pipe connection to the back of the bath. That's going to fill up your 50 litre tank. And by just pressing the heat on the bath, that will switch the bath on. And that is going to heat the water up, the 50 litres of water, what you've got in the left hand side tank. If you haven't got a hose pipe connection, you can just get a watering can or fill it up. It's not ideal to use it like that, but you can use it like that because I've rung them up and asked them before about that. So yeah, once your water's in there, if you're using the hose pipe, once you take water from that tank with your shower head, it will fill up, back up, like a toilet cistern, basically and then continue heating and it will just tick over all day at a constant heat. So you're not going to get a surge of electricity when you press your shower on, basically like you would with a normal shower attached to the wall. So if you're working outside in a shed or you're working off an extension lead, everything will work fine. I've been in places where you hit the electric, it hit the shower button to put the shower on and the lights dip because a shower, normal shower, will need a surge of electric to fire it up where this, it doesn't happen with this. As long as it's switched on, the water's going to tick over at a certain heat all day. Now, to bath a dog, there's a smaller tank on the right-hand side and the lever here, you will turn that to closed and that's going to stop the water going through the drain, going out the drain. And you'll use your shower head, hit wash and that will put water from the left hand side tank where the 50 litres of warm water is into the smaller tank and you'll add shampoo into that. So you'll get a shampoo mix of water. Then. Cover that back over, put your dog in, put your door in, then the other lever, which is rinse or wash, you'll turn that to wash, then hit the wash button, and all your water, what is in the right-hand uh, right tank, is going to be washing the dog, which is your shampoo mix tank. And you'll just wash and wash and wash your dog till you've cleaned your dog. Then... You'll release the dirty water in the right-hand tank by turning the lever to open. That will release that filthy water. You'll switch the wash to rinse. And now your water is going to come out of the left-hand tank, which is all clean and warm. And you'll rinse the dog off. And you do not need long to rinse the dog off because it's so powerful, the water, what comes <coughs> out. So you get through some water quick if you spend too long rinsing the dog and because the drain is already open whilst you're rinsing the dog the water will go straight out the drain that's it basically that's how you wash a dog and that's how it works so it's a really simple concept now i get quite a lot of emails about this bath the main one how long does it take to heat up probably about 20 minutes from when you switch it on in the morning for it to heat up I do have a timer on mine, which I put on the night before, so it'll come on about 45 minutes before I get here in the morning, so the bath is already warm. But a little tip here, you first wash, so the first lot of water, what you put into the right-hand tank, your shampoo mix, is always cold. Not freezing cold, but it's never as warm as it should be, because there is still some water sat in that tank, and you need to almost run it through a bit. So I always do a little mini wash before I wash the, the first dog. Comes with two doors. So you get a big door. And you get a small door. Now for me, 
I find, well, I've got the, I bought the wheels extra, which raises the bath up by four inches and I'm five foot four. I can bath the dog over the big door, but I find it much easier to have the smaller door on for every single dog I do. Big dogs, small dogs, any kind of dogs. So that way it's a lot easier, you're not reaching over the, the big door. Or you can buy the small dog rinser, but I find the small door works just as well. Now when you are washing a dog and the water's being recycled, you're cleaning the dog and the water goes back into the tank and comes back out the shower head, there is a bag filled helping collect the hairs. And that's what a nice, clean, lovely new one looks like. And this is what one looks like when it's been through the bath. <laughs> and you can turn it inside out and pull the dog hairs out of it. It just stops the hairs going back through or helps collect the hairs and stop them coming. Well, they're not going to come through clogging up your shower head. So yeah, you just tie that on over almost the drain back inside and so say just pull the hairs off the bag and you can wash that in fairy liquid to clean it up. But they never quite come as clean as what a brand new one looks like. But they do do a good job of collecting the hairs. I bought these extra. They, were, they weren't very much at all. You can get these from Red Cape when you buy your bath. You just stick them on and yeah, they are very, very strong. They do the job. They'll hold a setter in the bath as long as you've got them sucked on properly because you can buy some hooks which you drill into your bath and I didn't want to be drilling into the bath. So those two suckers are... Do the job fine, they hold a dog in the bath. Shampoo, you don't need to use a lot of shampoo. One 15 mil pump. On your five litre bottles, if you've got pumps, that's what the pump has in it usually. One pump is 15 mil of shampoo. And you don't, if you're doing a small dog, you won't even need that because you won't need to fill the tank on the right hand side full of water you'll only need to half fill it and put a bit of shampoo in and that will wash a small dog a setter you need it a sort of large breed retriever a setter labrador you'll be getting close to filling up the tank so that you can wash the dog but yeah you save on shampoo you save on water because you're recycling the water when you're washing the dog and then you're giving it a quick rinse on your shower head controls how fast or slow the water comes out and also how much water you put in the shampoo mix tank will control how powerful the water is if you've only got a small amount of water it's not going to be like a jet wash or well, if you fill it right to the top and then almost have it on full blast it really is like a jet wash for dogs so you need a big dog a real big dirty dog and that you're in business then aren't you with that because like I say, it's a bit like a jet wash for dogs and it's going to get rid of filth, dirt, dead skin, everything. It really, really is good. And then if you've got it on full blast, when you switch your tank over to the clean water for rinsing, again, you can just blast all the shampoo mixed water out of the dog's coat. But yeah, it is a very, very good bath. A bit expensive, but I don't think it is. You get your money back with the dogs, what you'll be grooming. It's complete if you go to a salon, set up, get your hydro bath in there. If you want to move, you just take your bath away, can't you? That's why I've got wheels. It is easy. It will fit through a doorway. Cleaning the bath. You can get the hydro, hydro bath flush. It's not cheap. It's five litres. You just need a splash of that and then you will fill up. The tank on the right hand side like you're going to wash a dog and then just wash the bath with it and then ideally leave it in the pipe so don't release the water leave it overnight and empty that the next day or do it once a week and clean the bath with some old shampoo you don't like each night and then once a week use your hydro bath flush there's different ways but you don't want to be using any hard cleaning fluid really on this bath and just use a sponge to wipe it down that's as good as it gets for cleaning. But that stuff really does work and helps freshen the bath up. So that's worth buying. 
I do have a full review on my dog grooming website. The Hydro Bath Review from Red Cape. I'll put the link in the description below to that and any other blogs which I think you might find interesting. I think that's it.